All right, so I'm gonna do a little video on um, brake alignment. Um, a lot of times people come to me with a bike and I, you can kind of see visually that this whole brake is to um, skewed all the way to the right and the wheel's been crooked, looks like for some time because um, the brake has been adjusted to an off-centered wheel. You can see it's like the whole wheel is sitting to the right side of the fork. Um, but a lot of times this isn't a problem of the wheel being centered or dished and uh, it isn't a problem of the fork being, um, you know, messed up. The most, the common thing I feel like you need to check for first when you have a wheel that is crooked, let me get my glove on, is to just make sure the springs that are in the quick release are not on backwards. So I'm going to take the nut off here. So once this nut is off, you can you'll find that uh, if you look real close. I don't know if you can see that, but that spring is backwards. Disconnect this brake. You can see right about, let's see, kind of about there. Actually, it looks like they have both springs on the wrong side, or both springs on one side. Um, let's see if I can break this apart a bit. Yeah, both springs, they're like, uh, tangled together and they were also put on backwards on onto the axle so the thing is when you do this when you put the springs on the wrong side of the uh, over over the top of the axle it increases the axle diameter and then the wheel won't go in straight so you always, always want to say the the cones of these springs They need to point towards the toward each other, toward the middle, toward the hub. You can see like the inboard side is uh, is narrower. And sometimes I say you can just get rid of these things if they're giving you trouble. They're there to just kind of push the quick release away from the hub or away from the dropout so that you can get the wheel out easier. But a lot of times I feel like they cause more confusion and trouble. So I'm going to reassemble this and you want to take the skewer and uh, install one of the springs and then put the skewer through the hub and then put on the other spring Having, making sure that the narrow side is against the hub and then the wide side is touching the actual nut and now we should be able to get better luck with aligning this wheel Now you can um, loosen this spring, which was trying to pull it away. And now you can see the brake is a little bit more centered. And my daughter's coming down. You got more art, girl? What? You got more art for me? Yep. Oh, good. Okay. Here's one from mom. Thank you. And this is the one from me. I put 
Okay, my daughter likes to bring me um, little bits of stamp art that her and her like mom this. make. Like that? Oh, cool. You want to come show? Like this. Mm -hmm. And let me go make another piece of art and I can show you the other one. Okay. See you in a minute. Okay, so back to adjusting this break. Um, now, now that we've got the caliber centered, it's just a matter of um, lining the brake pads. But uh, anyway, check your quick releases. It'll save you a lot of headache um, when you can't seem to find, like, or can't seem to figure out why your wheel is always crooked. All right, talk to you later.